Hi guys, I'm back in Washington now, but the vlog that you're about to watch is when Monica and I went to Palm Springs about two or three weeks ago and toured houses. We, I've said this in a vlog before, but we're looking into buying a vacation rental in Palm Springs for a couple reasons. Our family loves going there. It's close enough to LA that I could go for weekends all the time but mostly it's a really good investment they make a lot of money on airbnb that they basically pay for themselves and can make a profit as well which is pretty cool i feel like i don't even want to upload that to the internet because it's almost like this little secret like palm springs it just the airbnbs do quite well there even throughout the quarantine from the real estate agents I talked to there, it seemed like that a lot of them still did really well. You would think the Airbnbs would be pretty affected, but a lot of them still made a lot. Um, but yeah, so we're looking into that. Monica has gone and toured houses there once, and then we went this time to really get a feel for what we would want to get. So in this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys three of the houses. Um, I'll have you pick at the end which one you think we liked the best. We didn't put an offer on any of them yet, at least. We technically still, like, I think they're all still on the market. But, um, we're just kind of waiting. I mean, obviously, you don't want to rush this thing. Might even wait six months and then see. Because prices have been dropping. Without further ado, Let's check out the houses. Monica's gonna drive my car. Let's see if she remembers how. Going into the first house. First house. Here, let's turn some lights on. So here's, this is a pretty big sized room. Wow, lots of windows. Love that. Check out the yard. Okay, so this first house I was the most excited to see because it's the biggest. It has four bedrooms and I think it was three bathrooms. And it was also the cheapest, which I was surprised at when I saw it online. But then seeing it in person, the neighborhood definitely wasn't as good. And just in general, it definitely felt like it didn't have that mid-century charm but it is big it's still modern and pretty nice it's not exactly the style i'd want to go for but it has a track record of making 70 to 80 thousand per year on airbnb which is kind of incredible considering the price of it um so this one we thought was pretty cool it was the first one that we saw but after seeing the next two, we quickly forgot about this one. Although I will say it, it, it's pretty cool, but it is a little bit dark. The sunlight didn't really go in all that well. I didn't really record the neighborhood, but the neighborhood also wasn't that cool. This was the kitchen. It was pretty big, pretty modern. Um, I didn't really like these dark floors or the gray walls, but those are easy things you can change. At least the paint is. So here's the third bedroom in the back of the house. This one had its own bathroom here. Um, yeah, this house was actually pretty big. It could fit up to eight guests on Airbnb, which is a ton. You could probably rent this out for quite a bit per night. I like that the hot tub's kind of separated so it actually gets warm. Oh, and a whole other area over here with a barbecue. The cool thing about this house is it comes with the furniture. So it's turnkey and ready to put on Airbnb like tomorrow. So that is really appealing because we could start renting it out just, you know, when all the coronavirus stuff is over. But for now, I'd probably just go live in it. So there are a lot of windows, but we're really not getting like direct light in here. So it doesn't feel like crazy bright. It feels updated and nice. I like the style enough. It's Okay, here is the second house. This one was in a lot better of a neighborhood. It is smaller though. This one's only about 1200 square feet. So this is the main living area. It's a living room. It's a really open concept to the kitchen. The kitchen is, oh, it's, it's not for me. It's really bold, but it could be changed. It could be painted. Although that is a hassle and an expense, it, it would be 
it, it's possible to do that. So that's really the only like living area. And then you go over into this hallway that has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So here's the first bedroom. This one fit a queen sized bed and it had a window looking out to this patio. Here's the next bedroom. They put two single beds in here. They decorated it just so terribly. Like I, I really wanna redo this um, if I got this house. And then going down the hallway, you get the first bathroom. It's a full bathroom. It's, you know, it's not the coolest bathroom I've ever seen, but it, it gets the job done. It's just a vacation rental really. So who really cares about the bathroom? I would probably redo it, but it's not terrible. And then here is the master bedroom, really cool hot, higher ceilings in here. And then you go over, this one also has a bathroom with a shower that's kind of funky. I mean, it kind of goes with the style of the house. I wouldn't normally pick that. And the best part of this house is the yard. It has this really cool boomerang shaped pool. Totally goes with the mid-century theme. This house also comes with all the furniture. So it would come with all of this pool furniture and I actually liked it. This house was a bit windy is the only thing. Um, so that's kind of an issue, but whatever. Um, it was a pretty big plot of land. You can see there's all this space over here that they're not really using for anything, but could be turned into something else. I don't really know what, but hey, it's there. Back over to the pool. I really do like the pool. The only thing is there isn't a hot tub. And I feel like at night, you definitely would want a hot tub. I mean, you could live without it. To add one in is about $20,000. So I don't know, I'd rather buy a house that has a hot tub, but I still really like this pool and you can survive without a hot tub, right? So it's not a deal breaker. Over here, they had this little fire pit, which I thought was really cool and a huge tree. This tree is awesome. It provides a lot of shade, which is nice because it does get really, really hot in Palm Springs. But I loved this little fireplace or fire pit. I thought it was really cool. Better look at the tree. It's an amazing tree, right? I love this tree. And then a little barbecue area over here. There was also a garage for this house, which I didn't show. But this house, three bedrooms, two bathrooms is 725,000. So it is more expensive because it has that classic Alexander mid-century design. It really, in person, it feels a lot better than that other bungalow style one. Um, it feels very Palm Springs. Okay, on to house number three. So house number three is actually the exact same layout as house number two, but it's flipped. So they're the same square footage and everything, but this one is actually decorated a lot better in my opinion. In the entryway, they had a glass door, which brings in way more light. I really, really liked that. Although that would be pretty easy to add to the other one. The kitchen is way better in this one. Just overall, the living space is decorated a lot better. So I mean, that's stuff that you can change in any house though. Um, but I thought this was a pretty cool kitchen. Um, so again, this is the same layout. So these bedrooms are the same. They're just decorated differently. And the bathrooms have skylights and more windows in them. So they did feel a little bit brighter. Overall, I liked the inside of this house better, but I will say the exterior was so ugly like it really needed a facelift it was not cool at all and then here's the last bedroom so pretty big this one they've kind of made like master bedroom sort of um but i like how they painted the ceiling white here this one did not have as good of a yard it had a pool but the landscaping not as good as that other one like not nearly as cool um but overall this house is also really really cool Alexander homes are interesting because they're all around 12 to 1300 square feet. They're not that big. Um, they're all like kind of the same looking inside um, their layout and everything, but on the outside, they're all different and everything. Um, but they're just so cool. They have like these high ceilings, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. That's like a great number. And the for bedrooms have like people. a good size. Yeah. Okay, so Monica and I are now actually we're not at the airbnb we're at before we're at a family friend's house they have a house in palm springs and we wanted to check to see if they're in town to like see if we could see them yeah we just wanted to see if they were around um 
but then they were like oh you can stay at our house because no one is staying here so now we're at their house super nice of them to let us stay here because it's beautiful it's so nice well we're gonna go in the pool in a second monica has a swimsuit on okay you look like maybe you don't <laughs> Yeah. The camera is burning hot. It's so hot. It's like 100 degrees. Okay, Monica and I made dinner. We made this salad with shrimp. And we're going to go enjoy it outside. We did a great job, yeah? How was it? Okay, so I'm sure I forgot to do an ending to that vlog, so this is going to be the ending. Um, I really only vlogged like that one day in Palm Springs, but let me know what you guys thought of those houses. I really liked house number two. House number two was both Monica and I's favorite. There were things about it that like we would probably fix if we did end up getting that one. Like the kitchen, it's not terrible, but I don't know. I feel like the red is just not me. I'd probably just do a fresh coat of white paint throughout the whole thing, but the yard was really nice. The neighborhood was nice. But yeah, let me know which one you guys thought was the best though. I really thought I was gonna like that first one the best because it was the cheapest and had the most bedrooms but I actually really did fall for that mid-century Alexander house. I loved it. I see why those are the ones that people really like and they do really well in Airbnb as well. Okay, that's it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next vlog, which will be back me in Washington. So, see you then.